Welcome to the Nuxio Platform Quick Start video series. This course is an overview of the Nuxio Platform with an initial look at the main concepts. The course objective is to provide you with key elements needed to install and deploy the platform. We'll show you how to install your Nuxio instance, get your Nuxio Studio project prepared, create a basic configuration, and deploy the configuration. Installing Nuxio Platform is pretty straightforward. You can deploy Nuxio on any operating system, in the cloud or on-premise. Let's explore the advantages and the possible constraints of each option. Using the Nuxio Docker image is the recommended way to deploy Nuxio Platform. All you need is to install Docker on your machine. Docker is available for all operating systems, so you can deploy Nuxio Platform in any OS. Based on CentOS, the default Docker image includes all platform prerequisites and contains a bare Nuxio server without any package installed. To deploy any required add-on, adjust the Nuxio underscore packages attribute with the name of the add-ons needed. Using the multi-platform zip package, Nuxio can be run on any OS as long as the required version of JDK is installed. Just unzip the file in a folder of your choice and run the installer. It gives you control of all components of the platform. With the zip installation, you will have to install all the Nuxio third-party software dependencies as they won't be embedded. For example, you will have to install LibreOffice to view previews of Microsoft Office files or FFmpeg to stream videos. It requires some basic technical knowledge as you will have to install these manually and be able to edit the Nuxio Conf configuration file. Nuxio Platform is cloud ready, so you can run it on Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, or any cloud computing service. Nuxio clients can also choose to deploy their application within Nuxio Cloud, the Nuxio hosted and managed offering. It provides Nuxio Cloud customers with support and management of the infrastructure, third-party services, and Nuxio application, including marketplace package deployments and configuration changes. Regardless of how you install Nuxio Platform, the default configuration is not designed for production deployment. Many infrastructure and architectural aspects should be considered. For example, production environments usually employ Nuxio cluster architecture, and this is not part of the initial configuration. You'd have to carefully size your infrastructure through a volumetric analysis and an access estimation, considering concurrent access, load peaks, and so on. If you plan to build an application from Nuxio using the Docker image in production environment, often you will need to customize the image and build your own. For this purpose, we strongly recommend using an immutable image by building a custom Docker image from Nuxio when going into production. For test purposes, we recommend using the default Nuxio Docker image if you are a Nuxio beginner. Don't forget to set the Nuxio dev attribute to true to run the Nuxio image in development mode. This allows you to perform hot reload, to execute some Nuxio CTL commands, and to add more logging information. If you intend to develop a Nuxio application with a custom Java package, then we recommend you use the containerized development environment. It contains the Nuxio recommended tools such as Git, Node.js, NPM, Maven, Docker CLI, and so on, as well as third-party CLIs. If you use Visual Studio Code as your IDE, you can open the project directly and you will be prompted to start the development environment as a container. It allows you to open your project inside a container and take advantage of Visual Studio Code's full feature set, including an in-container shell. During the installation process, you'll be asked to connect to your Nuxio Studio account 
and select your Nuxio Studio project. This is an important step in the Nuxio instance configuration, so our next video will explain how Nuxio Studio and Nuxio Platform are connected.